Hello, I'm Lieutenant Jose Garcia, assigned to the Police Media Relations Unit. In 1920, the United States Congress chartered the Theodore Roosevelt Association in honor of the 26th President. The TRA introduced the first Theodore Roosevelt Association Police Award in New York in 1983. The Texas chapter of the Theodore Roosevelt Association was organized in December of 1995. Since its founding, there have been 16 recipients, and today we'll hear from the most recent one, Officer Richard Witt. Here's the story. On the way to the call, it was upgraded to active shooter, and then just prior to us arriving on scene, it uh, was upgraded to a shooting with the shooting victim at the residence at the apartment complex. Um, just prior to that, we talked about going home for the night too. <laughs> About 8.30, we talked about going home for the night, and we decided to take one last call, and that was, that was it. And uh, once we showed up, we saw officers down at the shooting location, so we posted up at the other end of the parking lot to seal off the crime scene. And once we pulled up uh, to tape the scene off, I exited the vehicle, and my partner, Juan Rangel, he exited and there was a shooter that came back to the scene that we pulled up in front of. He was probably 60 feet away from us. We didn't see him, and uh, he ambushed us from in front of our, straight in front of our car. Um, he shot our car several times, and he shot me three times, once in the hip, and or actually twice in the hip, and once in the car. Shooting, I can literally see the fire from my balcony. I knew, I knew that we were being shot at, and we needed to get cover, and that was that was the first thing that came to my mind. But I couldn't move because one of the shots shattered my femur, so I was holding myself up on the car. And then I, then I, eventually, I couldn't hold myself up anymore because I tried to plant on that leg and I fell down. Um, and then. I'm, I just started dragging myself in the back of the car to not get shot anymore. <laughs> Try to not. It was it was pretty painful. I mean, there was a lot of physical therapy that went along with it. It was just it was just a long process. I was released from the hospital five days after the shooting and then I started in-home therapy for almost two months and then I started going to outpatient therapy. I never didn't want to come back, you know, I've, I always wanted to come back, it wasn't an issue with me. Um, I was motivated to come back and I'm still working at getting full recovery so I can go back to the road. I, uh, I don't take very many things for granted anymore. So when you go through something like that where you have an opportunity to lose your life in an incident like that, it kind of changes your perspective on a lot of things. You know, when it comes to training and your family and your friends and everything, it really changes your perspective on things. What a touching story that demonstrates exceptional courage, determination, and perseverance. With Dallas Police Film, I'm Lieutenant Jose Garcia.